or bank that they have been paying extra principal on their mortgage for years and ask, couldn't you just let me coast for a few months? I should be way ahead on my payment schedule. The fact is, no matter how much extra you pay against your principal, the next rate you're paying hey guys. is still due. You so happy day to you guys. I just want to do this quick video on how to really work from home. I have a lot of people that follow me. I'm listening to an audio book, Millionaire by 30. Is it Millionaire by 30? I think it is. Yeah, Misfortune. No, Misfortune. Um, so a lot of people follow me and they want to be able to work from home full time. Let me see if I can go here. Let me see if I can go here. Oh, this guy. Yeah, what's this guy doing? This guy is blocking traffic. Traffic, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, the traffic everywhere. And this guy just, like, he just blocked everything. This guy with this guy with this car in front. So a lot of people want to work from home full time, right? Now, it's a lovely thing, being able to work from home, be with your kids, and cook for your kids, make money, you know, also have your bills paid, and also travel. So, all that's great <clears throat> to do. But it takes a boss mindset to do this. It's, it's not easy, man. This shit ain't easy, you know? I may make it look easy, but this shit ain't easy, man. So it takes a boss mindset. That's why I said right now I'm listening to an audio. I'll go home and read a book and I'll listen to an audio later, right? We literally have to program, guys, our mind to be our own boss. Tell ourselves what to do. Tell ourselves when to get up. Tell ourselves where to go. Tell ourselves what to, you know, do, how to work, all of this stuff. So think about your boss for a minute. What does your boss tell you to do? Okay? Or, you know, what relationship do you have with your boss? Or what is the feeling that you have when you're talking to your boss? Or the feeling that you get when you think about your boss? So all of those things, right, you need to become the boss, right? So if you fear your boss, you need to fear yourself. If you know, you're scared of your boss, <laughs> you know, you need to be scared of yourself, right? So all the things you are to your boss and the feelings that you get from your boss or about your boss, you need to now transfer them to you because people only really have fear motivation at the job. No one has, no one has productive motivation on the job. It's only fear. You're in fear that your job will fire you, right? That's the only fear and that's the only reason people go to work and get a paycheck, okay? It's not, you know, pure motivation or ambition because they love their job so much. No, people are scared that their job will fire them so they go every day and they hold and they have, like, they're mercified <laughs> or their job is holding them hostage every single day or have a long you at your job so it takes a boss mindset guys for you to be able to be your own boss right you can't take no shit from yourself you can't take no excuses from yourself you can't be procrastinating right you can't keep praying and wishing and hoping you got to have a plan you got to plan ahead you got to know who you're going to talk to. You got to know what events you're going to attend to. You got to know how much money you need to grow your business. You got you guys, you got to know so much to be your own boss. So the issue becomes people don't want to learn the stuff. People don't want to put the money up. So they never become their own boss. See, it only sounds good if I join TLC. Oh, it only sound good if I join a multi-level marketing. Oh, it sound good that I'm starting me my own e-commerce business. Oh, it only sound good that, you know, I'm starting me a real estate business. It only sounds good until you got to put the mind work in that is required for you to actually be your own boss. So when people join me in programs or in my coaching, I give them a list of books to start reading. 
I give them a list of audios to start reading right away, right? And every day, read 30 minutes a day. Start transforming your mind, okay? So everybody want to be a boss, but too many people live to be a worker. Everybody want to be a boss, but too many people live to be a worker. So it's only a small amount of people, guys, that will be able to do this full time. Only a small amount of people. People join multi-level marketing and network marketing companies all the time. But only 1% go and make five figures, go and make six figures, go and make seven figures, go and make eight figures. 1% because they're willing to change their mind. They're willing to be their own boss. They're willing to read. They're willing to listen to the audios. They're willing to hire mentors. They're willing to go to the events. They're willing to fix their credit. They're willing, right, to access money. And they're willing to invest in themselves. So for all the people that join me in all this stuff, if you're not willing to do everything to be a boss, you will never be your own boss. If you're not willing to do everything to be a boss, like your real boss is, then you will never be your own boss. Zero chance that you're gonna win. Zero chance that you're gonna win. Because even doing or being a hustler, you still got to have the mindset to say, well, I need to contact this person. I need to call this person. I need to go see these people. I need to meet up with this person. So you still have to have a mindset of a boss. So again, guys, let's stop fooling ourselves, you know, and saying, oh yeah, I'm, you know, I'm living my best life and you ain't got two pennies to rub together or every time you get paid, your paycheck is gone. It's a vicious thing, guys. So I made a decision. Here's my, here's what I did. I said, either I'm going to learn how to be a boss. I'm going to invest in myself. I'm going to read books. I'm going to get around other bosses. I'm going to get around other people who are winning. I'm going to get around other people who know what they're doing, or I'm just going to listen to my boss, do what my boss say and get my little measly paycheck. So that was the alternatives. So I chose the road less traveled. The road less traveled is investing in myself, going to events, hiring mentors, reading books, right? Listening to audio books, okay? Writing out my goals, writing out my dreams, really getting focused on what I need to really get focused on, okay? All of these things I was willing to do and I'm still willing to do it. And I made it a habit of doing it. So for everybody that's fooling themselves, oh yeah, I'm a boss. No, you're not. Because if you're still working for someone, you are not a boss. <laughs> Let's just be honest. You know, if you still have a job, you are not a boss. If you claim that you're a woke person, a person that knows better, and you, st and you work for someone, you're not woke. Because people that's woke are not interested in working for no one. Right? So again... Again, guys, there's so many opportunities in the world for us to build wealth. There's so many opportunities in the world, guys, for us to build a legacy. But if you're not willing to change your mindset, and I mean every day, change your mind. Not just, oh, I'm going to read a book today. Or I'm going to read another book next year. No, every day. Every day. Listening to audios. Every day. Reading a book. Every day. Even when you don't feel like it, even when you got your menstrual cramps, even when, you know, you and your husband arguing or your boyfriend arguing or your kids acting crazy or your, your spouse or, you know, your, your job acting crazy, your mother, you know, she's sick. Even when <laughs> things are falling apart around you, you still need to change your mind. And it only takes a certain person, a strong person minded person to be a boss guys it's a learned skill just like being a worker is a learned behavior it's a learned skill the same thing with being a boss it's a learned skill i tell people give yourself three to five years 
to change your mind. Give yourself three to five years to learn something new. Don't just think, oh, I'll join today and boom, I'm a millionaire tomorrow or you know, I'm making six figures tomorrow. No, give yourself three to five years of every day plugging in, all the time going to events, every day reading a book, every day telling yourself good affirmations and good things, every day. This is why only the 1% of people, guys, really go and win. And everybody else is just the cheerleaders. So in order to be a boss, guys, you got to have a mindset of a boss. So if you're not willing to do the work, if you're not willing to read books, if you're not willing to go to the events, guys, then you can never be your own boss. But if you are willing to do all of these things, then guess what? You can be a boss. You can literally be your own boss. And guess what? Life can be better for you and your family moving forward, guys. So go to createmyowneconomy.com and then CBD Health. What is it? CBD Health Oil? Yeah. What is it? CBD Health Oil.net. Yeah. yeah. If you're interested in starting you a CBD health and wellness business today.